Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can apply logo textures in Element 3D perfectly in a single click. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button, do share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, check out my second channel, link in the description, okay? So now further without any ado, let's start today's video. So here we are in After Effects, now let's start this by creating a new composition so click on this new composition come to this preset options here i will be selecting this ht1080 which is a full hd resolution with a frame rate of 24 and duration of 10 seconds hit ok so now let's import our logo but before to that if we want to have our logo textures apply properly onto the extruded model first we need to check the artboard resolution so this is the main png image which i have downloaded from freepik so if I go to the properties of this and details, you can see the width and height. The width is 8000 and height is 4500 pixels. So I need to convert this into the same composition of the After Effects. So in this After Effects, the composition size is full HD that is 1920-1080. So use Photoshop to convert your logo. So I have converted this in the same composition size so if i go to this properties and details you can see it is converted to full hd dimensions okay so make sure to convert your logo for the dimensions that matches with the composition that you are using in the afterwards okay so now let me drop this logo onto this project panel so simply drag and drop it onto this project panel okay so now again drop this onto this timeline so here we got our logo in the timeline so now select this logo go to this layer options and click on this auto trace so make sure to apply this onto the new layer and hit ok so here you can see we got an auto tracer layer created here so let me hide out this both for time being and let me create a new solid layer for element 3d so go to this layer options new create a solid let me rename this to element and hit ok so now come to this effects and presets panel if you're not finding this panel here go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for element 3d so element 3d is a third party plugin we need to download it separately select this element and drop it onto this element layer okay so now come to this custom layer options custom text and mask expand this one so in path layer one select your auto tracer layer so here we got this auto tracer layer right so we need to select that one in path layer one so select this auto tracer layer and let me enable this one so this double one double one is our logo so this one we need to add for this custom texture maps so select this double one double one png image so i renamed it like that so in custom text and mask we need to select this auto tracer layer in custom texture map we need to select our logo here okay so after that click on this scene setup so here you can see we got a new window open to work in element 3d so now click on this extrude button we will get the outline of our logo so this will be the outline of our logo so if you observe the logo the outline matches with the logo so here you can see this will be the it traces the outline so we got this outline here so come to this bevel one and extrude let me increase this to two okay so if you want to use another copy of bevel copy select this extrude model and change this to bevel copies two so now select this second bevel scroll down and in bevel outline enable this option and let me increase this extrusion to three so here you can see we got this extrusion so now let me move this in z offset so that we'll get this outline on both the sides nice so now let me increase this bevel size to one okay so now this is looking good so now let me apply materials for this bevels so come to this presets physical material and let me apply chrome for this bevel too or else let me apply this bright light and color i think i will change this to dark illuminating orange okay fine now select this bevel one and apply this plastic white so on this plastic white material we want our logo texture to appear so select that plastic white scroll down come to this diffuse option in textures so click on this non set button drop down and select this custom layer one 
so in custom layer one we have set our logo there okay you remember right so select that one and hit ok so you can see this is not aligned properly but in a single click we can make the two align proper so select this plastic white scroll down and here you can see we got an option like use layer as uv simply enable that one and now you can see we got our logo texture fitted properly onto this extruded model so this happens only when the image dimensions and the composition of after effects is same so for example if the image dimensions is different and the after effects composition size is different we need to manually adjust this one so make sure you convert your logo to the resolution or dimensions as per your composition that are using in after effects okay so i think that makes sense so now let me right click add this to channel one so i will show you how to animate this one also so we have added this to aux animation channel one okay and also let me add a ground plane and size let me increase this to 25 and 25 here and let me place this here a bit and also let me apply material for this so i will apply this chrome material only and if i want to have the reflections of our logo on the display so select this plane come to this reflect mode and change this to mirror surface so now we can see we got the reflections so let me bring this plane here a bit so if you want to reduce the reflectivity select the material scroll down come to this glossiness and reduce the glossiness here so 25 is enough i think and now come to this advanced settings being selected this material option come to this advanced settings and enable this matte shadow and matte reflections so you'll get only reflections visible here nice so here you can see we got our logo with logo texture applied onto that so in order to view this in 3d space we need to add a camera layer so go to this layer options new and camera and hit ok so now long press here and let me select the track z camera tool and let me zoom it out a bit okay so now you can see we got the reflections also here so now let me animate this one so come to this element layer it is in group one so let me show you that one also come to this inside of once again okay so here you can see all these elements are in group one okay so we need to work in group one so come to this group one options aux channels channel one and let me rotate this here so beyond the first frame add a keyframe for this rotation y axis let me drag it here so add a keyframe for this rotation y axis move to the last frame and change this to i think 359 because we want loop kind of rotation let me change the resolution to quarter and let me play this once again so here you can see we got this rotation here so if you want to have this clockwise a bit we need to change this into minus 359 so it will rotate in other direction okay so finally scroll down come to this where is this come to this render settings ambient occlusion enable ambient occlusion intensity we can increase this to six and since it is an illuminating material we can add glow so come to this glow enable glow and we can reduce the intensity to 0.5 if you want to glow you can add this or else you can disable this one okay so in this way we can add our logo texture onto the extruded model properly in a single click in element 3d so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye